this time I'm going to give you a brief introduction on how Photoshop filters work. Filters are some kind of layer we place on top of the image and it makes the image to show as if we look it through the glass, applying different effects to the image. Filters have these generalities. If I use filters, whatever it is, let's use filter gallery, the store, glass. The last filter I used gets stored up here. And if I press Command F or Control F, I can repeat the last filter I used. It. Filters also have the following particularities. If I use a filter, let's pick Gaussian Blur, which is going to blur the image. Right after applying it, I can go to Edit and I can click on Fade. Last filter I applied. In this case, Fade Gaussian Blur, which is Shift Ctrl F, not Ctrl F, we want to edit instead. Windows appears, in which I can reduce the filter's transparency or I can also mix the filter with the non-filter image by means of a layer mode. For example, on overlay mode. In this case, I simply have some kind of blur on the image that make the color seem more vivid. Another generality of filters is the capacity to use smart filters. What am I talking about? If I go to filter, I click on convert that layer into a smart filter. Convert for a smart filter. Now I can see this little icon on the layer. With this icon, if I applied exactly the same filter, let's say Gaussian Blur again, for example. OK. And now the filter is editable. So I can remove it or apply it back. I can double click and edit the filter. And can also use the mask to choose in which part I want the filter to show. By means of coloring with the white or black. If I color with black, I remove the filter. If I color, with white, I apply again the filter. If I wanted to not have the filter, I can erase it. But if on the contrary, I want to apply another filter, I can say filter and apply another one. Let's have a look here. Filter gallery. Oops, sorry. I was applying it to the mask. Let me apply it to the layer. OK, again, filter gallery. Let's pick the sketch filter, for example. Half tone. One among the artistic one. OK, this one. Or better, this one. OK. As it has a mask, it only applies to the outer part. I could turn it on or off independently to Gaussian blur filter. Summarizing, we have seen filters are kind of distortion we applied on image. We can press Ctrl or Command F to repeat the last filter we applied. We have also seen that right after applying a filter, we can go to Edit and click on Fade. Shift Ctrl F or Shift Command F and we can reduce the opacity or mix it. Also, we learned we can convert a specific layer into a small filter and a small filter will be editable and will have a mask layer.